Good evening. Plo Koon. So you can see how much I've invested into him. Um, he's level 50, so he could store some mods. Uh, I think they're rather bad now because I kind of dip into my storage ones, uh, try you know, leveling them up or if they are leveled, switching them around. Anyway, Plo Koon. Um, level 50, level 1. Or ability level or gear level 1. And ability level one as well. Wow. So it's pretty basic. So with the mods and everything on him and the level 50, he's got 5,461 health, 548 protection, all of which is through the mods. 87 speed. I didn't realise he was that slow. Wow. And there's the rest of his stats there. So, um, ouch, my lovely credits. Ouch, 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 please. Can we have like 14 credit heists in a week? I think they should do double credit heists on Saturdays and Sundays in preparation for territory battles. I mean, if we all weren't being given a Zeta, then give us the credit so we can at least get the tunes. Oh, sorry. Pulling my socks off. Right, getting comfy. Here we are. So, he's now level 85, therefore he's maxed, which has increased his health up to 8741. Protection has remained the same, as it would. Um, possibly some other numbers changed. I didn't really take note of them. So, how far can I gear him? I have no idea. Let's find out. But, his light side. Oh, crap. What I didn't do is... He's also a pilot. There's his ship. Um, he's still level 1 at the moment. Obviously, he's now level 85. So, you're not going to fully see the difference this makes. But, 13,751 health. 5,495 protection. 131 speed. 8 boosted at the moment. I wonder where those 8 come from then. Some of those will be from the stars. Whoops. So the only the only figure I'm really looking at here is speed. 131. I don't even know how fast that ship will get to. So. Gear 2. I'm just going to whiz through these. Uh, chances are yours is already way ahead of mine. Gearing and modding and everything else. I, mean, I see a lot of Plo's ships. I mean, that's the, the thing behind him now, isn't it? Is that he's the pilot. Um, we'll have a butcher's just at the speed. And speed is 132. Um, they increased by one. Curious. Did it do it again? Oh, wrong one. His speed increased, but that's through gear. Just, uh, sorry, I keep flicking. Nope. So that had no impact. Gear, taking him to level two. Four speed. Right, health, resistance and tenacity. Strength and special chance. Armor. And tenacity. Upgrade to gear level five. Another four speed. Six speeds. That's ten speed he's gained on this. Going from gear level five to gear level six. No, nope. to gear four to five. Oh, crap. So what am I missing there, then? So it's two speed. Go 
Just two speed on this level. Ooh. Let's have a look at your stats then. So, jumped up now to 11,293 on his health. 106 speed now. So, that has jumped quite a bit from the... Was it 92? I can't remember. Oh, look at that. 888 on his physical damage. I might remember that one. And as far as the ship goes... We've added two more speed to it. It's now up 134. We'll come back to the ship at the end. Uh, da, 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 da. So, no speed there. No speed there. Two speed here. Six speed here. Twelve thousand and fifteen on his health, five hundred and forty-eight on his protection, hundred and fourteen on his speed. So banging him onto there. As now he's got a boost on his protection up to from five forty eight to three four three eight. Quite a, a jump. And what did that do here? Up to a hundred, <laughs> up to one hundred and thirty-five on the speed. So we gained another three speed by taking him up to ability level seven. Um, please. Uh, four. Oh, it's a four. Oh, I've got a few uh, salvage for them. Oh. Another three speed. Another two speed. That's five speed. What does this need? I've got none... I need to get that done as well, don't I? Is that enough? It should be enough, surely. Yeah, level nine. Two cuffs. Oh, ow. Gear level ten. Lights haven't gone out yet. There's a cuff in there. Ouch. I'm sorry. Oh, I can't deploy anymore. Getting it all the way up there to gear 11. Sweet. So, gear 11, five star. Remember that as well. 17,000 on his health. 20,000 on his protection. 121 on his speed. Eight, how much of that? Seven of which he's boosted by mods. So, uh, it's not too bad. Right. Um, we'll have a look at the ship. So, a gear 10. No, gear 11. Five star. Boost the speed up considerably. It's now up to 143. So, let's um, that 
out. Taking his health to 18,500. His protections will be made the same at 20,781. I'll flick through the other stats for you. 3,039 special damage. Wow. Shipwise. 146. Well, we've got another one of them. Wow. 19,800 on his health now. 2015 on his physical. 3204 on his special. And they're not enhanced very much at the moment either. So that's him. Seven starred. Um, we'll take him up to ability level seven. What does he actually do? Deal physical damage to target enemy and dispel a random positive status effect on them. If an effect is dispelled, Plo Koon gains defense up for three turns. Fifty percent chance to dispel all positive status effects. All right. So, okay, he's a dispeller. Force that judgment deals special damage to all enemies, with a percentage chance to inflict defense down for two turns. About fifty-five percent chance. And the Omega is deal special damage to all enemies with a 70% chance to inflict defense down for three turns. Okay. Take charge, ability level bonus. So this is a special. All allies gain defense up for turns. Clone and Jedi allies also gain 40% turn meter. Forty-five percent, no, fifty percent turn meter. All allies gain defense up for four turns. Clone and Jedi allies gain fifty percent turn meter, and other allies gain half that amount. And half turn meter gain for non-clone, non-Jedi allies. Okay, so that's what the, the Omega does there. And finally, he's got a leader as well, is he? Each ally has 35% chance to remove stealth from each enemy at the start of their turn. Really? Oh, he could become viable with a, a Zeta on that, couldn't he? So each ally has 55% chance to remove stealth from each enemy at the start of their turn. If they dispel any enemies, they gain a fence up for one turn. Ooh. Um, I don't think that will have changed anything here. Doesn't look to have. Didn't expect it to, as I said. But what has it done here? So here's his ship. So his ship's now at 22,234. And in speed now is 156. Wow. That's applying the stars and gearing to 11. Um, and of course, this is a two-star ship. So let's go upgrade that. It's now a three-star ship. Actually, you know what we haven't done? Spent loads of credits. So what did that do? 158. Wow, it's getting quicker all the time, isn't he?
159. Sorry, it's taking ages and I'm still going. 162. Hundred and sixty six. Hundred and seventy. Wow. Wow. So we'll bang these on. Wings of the Republic. Target ally gains two taunt gains target ally taunt for two turns. If the ally is Republic, dispel all debuffs on them and grant them protection up of 65% for two turns. Ooh. Well, that sounds all right. Coordinated Assault. Deal physical damage to target enemy with a percentage chance to gain speed up. Target lock. Grant an other ally, another random ally, speed up for two turns. I'll throw a little more damage in here. And then the final one 15% speed up chance. So deal physical damage to target enemy with a 70% chance to gain speed up. Target lock, grant another random ally, speed up for two turns. And inspiring charge. All enemies gain 25% turn meter. Clone allies gain tenacity up for one turn. And Jedi allies gain protection recharge 25% for two turns. That will change. I'm taking this to six. You ain't getting my ship, Amiga. So there we go. I'm not reading number seven. So up to ability level six. All allies gain 35% turn meter. Clone allies gain tenacity up for one turn. And Jedi allies gain protection recharge 35% for two turns. And shipwise, now at 170 speed, 60,000 health, 30,000 protection. It's quite tanky. Sweet. So that's the ship. And that's the pilot. Thank you for watching.